Many, many years ago, when the world was still very new, the Jade Emperor declared a race among all the animals, and the first 12 to cross the finish line would be honored by being given a place in the zodiac and having years named after them. The last stage of the race would be to cross the Yellow River where the Emperor waited on the other side. When the race was announced, all the animals were very excited, but there were two clear favorites to win. I'm so big and powerful, I've got this in the bag. Excuse me, but have you forgotten I can fly? Of course I'll win. The morning of the race, Ox and Rat got up very early to begin the course. While Tiger slept in, Dragon, who could view the scene from up in the sky, decided to relax. Not long after, Rabbit joined the race, but Tiger kept sleeping and Dragon kept lounging. Only when Ox, carrying a rat, were almost at the Yellow River did Dragon decide to join the race. Soaring among the clouds, they quickly closed the distance. Dragon was sure of themselves and their victory when they heard a cry. Help, help, won't someone please help us? Looking down, Dragon saw that a village was on fire. The thatched roofs were burning and the embers were spreading. If someone didn't do something right away, the entire village would be lost. Now, not all of you may know this, but while European dragons were associated with fire and destruction, in East Asian cultures, dragons are associated with wind and water. In East Asian cultures, dragons bring rain. Dragon thought to themselves, what do I do if I don't stop to help this village? Then ox and rat will finish the race before me. But if I don't stop and help, then more people and animals could be hurt. Help, help, won't someone please help us? That's okay, I can stop to help them and still finish in the top three. So dragons swooped down and corralled some clouds about the village until it started to rain, putting out the fires. By this time, Tiger, who was indeed very powerful, had finally awoken and started sprinting towards the finish line as fast as they could. Small Rabbit, who was fast but small, was attempting to cross the river by riding a log but the strong current was sweeping them towards some rocks. Help, help, won't somebody please help me? Dragon thought to themselves. What do I do? If I stop to help Rabbit, then Tiger will beat me to third place. But if I don't stop and help, then Little Rabbit may be dashed against the rocks. Dragon hesitated for only a second before swooping down and pushing the log the Rabbit was on to the shore, allowing Rabbit to hop off and finish fourth. Finally, Dragon landed on shore. Dragon, asked the Jade Emperor, you are the strongest and fastest of all the animals. You can both swim and fly. Why weren't you the first to finish? Dragon bowed their head and said, there were people and animals who needed my help and that seemed more important. The Jade Emperor smiled and said, that was very kind of you, dear Dragon. The fifth year of the Zodiac will be named after you. After Dragon came Snake, who finished 6, Horse and Goat, who finished 7th and 8th, then Monkey, who was ninth, and Chicken and Dog, who were 10th and 11th, and then finally Pig came in at 12th. And that is how we got all the years of the Zodiac, and how the Dragon lost the race, but learned kindness and compassion, and became the most popular of all the animals.